So I recently spent way too long looking through 5,000 tool listings on Amazon, looking for cheap and horribly rated tools. And today we're gonna to be testing some of them. She has no idea what I bought. I'm excited and nervous. So my beautiful and incredibly talented wife is missing one skill, the ability to drill straight down. We've gone over this. It's very difficult for me. So today, I thought we should try a drill guide. Okay. What do you notice about this picture? Um, no one's drilling in it. And it's photoshopped in <laughs> poorly. Yes, it is very much photoshopped in. I have no idea of the scale. Oh my God, it's photoshopped in there too. The also they there, just, they're just photoshopping it in front of woodworking images. It's not being utilized no, in any way. None of these, none of these. Look, just, at how, look at the scale of it changing again and again. I, is it this big or is it this big? I don't know. I don't know either. What have we bought? I'm, I'm worried. It's 10.99. Oh no. <laughs> It's got 1.8 stars, three ratings. Dragonheart says it's flimsy plastic. It sticks, binds, and flexes. No instructions, not worth my time to return it. Great. How much you wanna bet? We gotta assemble this. <laughs> it is indeed plastic. There are indeed no instructions. Let's see if I can figure it out. Ooh. Yeah, it'll be fun. It's, it's like a puzzle piece, you know? Yeah. That's part of the entertainment that you're getting for $10. Oh, is that fun? This isn't long enough, and this doesn't fit in the hole. Oh, wow. Look at how wobbly that is. <laughs> it's that premium plastic bend. For the flexibility you need while drilling straight. Here, let me just... Drill straight real quick. <laughs> Three hours later. Are we ready to drill straight or what? Let's do a control test. See how straight I can drill. Okay, let me just calibrate. Calibrating. Moment of truth. See how many degrees I'm off? Oh, look at that. <laughs> it, it is not straight. <laughs> You know, it just shows that I have room to improve and that perhaps this tool will help Might me. Might be what you're looking for. Yeah. <laughs> or pull it all the way up so you get the full experience. All right. Smooth. Smooth. There's so little wiggle room on either side of my hand that like this finger can't go down any farther while also holding the trigger. Look at my knuckle, look at my knuckle. It's hitting the metal. So I'm gonna have to like hold it backwards, hold my hand backwards. So it's really well designed and thought out. Yep. Okay, let's measure it. Nope. Nope. <laughs> you know, I think for the additional cumbersomeness, um, it's not worth it. I'd say it's not worth it. There are no zero stars on Amazon, so I would give it a one. Okay, fine, one. This product requires a story to be told. Okay, I'm listening. First, go ahead and open it up. It is, it says tool key. Is this like some sort of multi-tool? Some little accessories here. This looks like a set of files that can be added. The listing is for an engraving knife tool, exquisite electric woodworking carving chisel with five blades and one wrench. I've never used an electric chisel, but it sounds exciting. It sounds like a tiny jackhammer. Yeah, and it has two ratings, 1.7 stars, powered by electricity. Two to five times the speed of hand engraving. Where? How do we plug it in? That's what the review says. How do we plug it in? T <laughs> Reviewer TS says, this thing is advertised as electric. It's not. It's mechanical with an unknown drive. I took that as a challenge. I was like, I'm gonna order <laughs> You're this. You're gonna make it electric. <laughs> so I went back to the listing. I looked down further at the notes section to be equipped with a flexible shaft because chisel cannot work alone and the flexible shaft is not included in the product. 
So I think that if, <laughs> what this is, is this is just like a replacement end for another product. This. Oh dear, that's sixty dollars. <laughs> you didn't buy that, did you? <laughs> no. I thought these were supposed to be cheap. I was already invested, baby. I was invested. You were invested in twelve ninety nine. They they tricked me. So we're now the proud owners of an electric wood chisel, hanging mill, grinding, woodworking, carver, pedal, control, engraving machine, wood chisel, carving machine with handle, five blades plus foot control pedal. Great, awesome. Uh, this, I'm really happy about how we spent these sixty dollars. <laughs> wow, that's a lot for sixty bucks, though. Look at that. That's a whole motor. A flip switch, look at that. There, there, mm-hmm. This is a dumb Amazon listing. That's just dumb. <laughs> Baby, maybe this is the beginning of a new hobby of ours. Oh, you're gonna be a, a wood carver? Wood carver. What are you, you gonna know? carve? Cats. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> this is not in English, so hopefully you know where that goes. Uh... 2,000 years later. There you go. Can I test it? Sure. How is it? That's a terrible noise. It was very hard to control. I didn't feel like I was in control. You didn't make very good cuts, if I'm being honest. You know, Holy moly. you know, they say that carving is a nice hobby to pick up because it's calm, it's relaxing, it's quiet, it's mess free. You can do it inside and not disturb anyone. I feel like this no longer qualifies as a quiet and chill hobby with this tool. Let's try another tip before okay. we give it a, a, a final ranking. Okay, we'll switch the tip. That one looks more stabby. Feeling? How's the experience? I mean, technically, this did work, even though it made me very sweaty and uncomfortable. Okay, what do you want to rank the whole thing? I give it a three and a half. I think that's fair. Oh, that's a little high. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I was gonna give it like a like a three. Yeah. Okay, a three. A three. I'm good with this. My beautiful wife. Yes. How many multi tools do we own and have in this house? Um. How many do we have that are also a hammer? <laughs> oh my God. Whoa. I have never seen anything <sighs> like this. Okay. 10 tools in one, baby. Read them. Hammering a concrete nail in concrete. Use as a hammer. Okay, those are both hammer. <laughs> Screwdriver. Pliers, okay, I got that. Oh, oh a pipe wrench. Isn't okay. that also pliers? They're just using the pliers on a pipe. <laughs> Pinch metal pieces together, that is also pliers. Pull out broken nails, that's also a hammer. <laughs> so far it's, just, it's a hammer, a screwdriver, and pliers. A wi wiry clamp, a wiry clamp. Pull out nails, you <laughs> <laughs> they said pull out nails easily twice. Okay, that's also a hammer. Cut wires or nails. So it's a hammer that's also a hammer and a hammer. But it's also a hammer, but it's also pliers and pliers. <laughs> For eleven ninety nine and three point five stars, how can you pass up an opportunity like that? You can't. I it's mean, a, it's <clears throat> the prime hammer. Best technology, the best quality. Test one: hammering a concrete nail in concrete. So you think you'd kind of just hit it like this, but no, you actually load the nail in this system right here, and then you hammer it like this with oh, your other hammer. Better. Now, why why is this better? I just don't understand why that's better than just hammering the nail. It's just a not great hammer that requires a good hammer. So it's not. 
It's not really that great. Test screwdriver. So you have to install in this slot right here. Okay. And then, it's so convenient. Yeah. Just like that. Yeah, it looks really ergonomic to grip. Like, your hand looks extremely comfortable. You know, you can't always spin your base piece. That's not how usually how screwing things in works. <laughs> I feel like you're cheating a little bit. <laughs> oh, it's halfway done. <laughs> I stripped it. Oh, you 100% stripped it. This is when you make use of it. <laughs> make use of a tamer teacher. <laughs> wow, you really got that screw in. <laughs> oh, oh, it hurts. Oh my God. The only thing that was cracking me up so much is try taking the screwdriver out. <laughs> You did, you're so strong. I couldn't get it out. Oh no, let's say you have a nail that's not nailed in well because you're using a really bad hammer. Can you pull it out? Let's use the nail pulling feature right here where you insert it like this. Mm. <sighs> Ooh, are you okay? Ow. Oh no, <laughs> you got a drink. You know, you don't have nearly as much leverage as a hammer. You only have this length. That's a big difference in, in leverage. Technically. <laughs> no, I don't think. <laughs> Technically you can pull out nails. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess you did get it out, but like at what cost? <gasps> I'm really curious to see if I can cut a nail with this. It literally says cut wires and nails. Where is it? Oh, that's so small. All right. Let's see. I think I heard a little creak. <clears throat> okay, I think if you're utilizing a vice, I, I feel like I, I, I feel like we're not properly testing the ability to cut a nail. If you say technically. Technically. <laughs> technically. Do you feel prepared to review this? I think we've, we've put it through a lot of its paces. If you want to take a whole bunch of really useful tools around the house. And make them worse. I think 3.5 stars is generous. I would give it a three. I'd give it a two. This wasn't really good at almost anything. You're right. Besides hammering. And even that wasn't that great. Yeah, two. I really like the idea of this product. A drill pump? A drill pump? I don't understand. So the idea is a lot of DIYers already have a drill, which is basically a motor. You stick this pump onto your drill, and now all of a sudden, you have a pump. Oh, wait. wait. This will pump water. I don't, maybe I just don't understand enough about pumps. A pump consists of like kind of two parts. You need a motor to turn the part that's doing the pumping. This is the pump, this is the motor. Okay, <laughs> I clearly don't know enough about pumps. Brent says, junk. Okay. This thing work for about 30 seconds. Just pumps air if you're lucky. Junk, 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 junk. We know how he feels. <laughs> Common themes in this is it lasts 30 seconds, one minute, three minutes. So let's like let's put it through his paces. Yeah. Because a lot long of people it see it fails. Yeah, exactly. Do you think this would work on resin? I was gonna bring that up later. But if this $10 pump works. Let's see if it works on water first. Yeah, exactly. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> you got your end? I got my end. Ready? Yeah.
Is anything happening? In, out. I thought something would happen. Is it sucking at all? Right? Ooh. No. Oh, it's working. You just need to go fast. Oh, it's, it's going. Working. Ready? Heck it's working, yeah. it's working. All right, let's see if it will last for 30 seconds. Okay, we passed the five minute mark. It's still going pretty strong. One thing I have noticed is this water got nasty, <laughs> but it's, it's, it's been running. But what if you want to pump something thicker than water? Like something the consistency of resin? I think we could do that using some thicket. <laughs> we could also mix up some resin, but this seems faster. And a lot less expensive. Who knew we'd be using Thicket for such purposes? It's not surprising to me. <laughs> this is a wonderful medical solution for people who need it. Or a fun science experiment for weirdos. <laughs> it's thickening. Look at that. I think that's perfect. Okay, let's try it out. I'm just gonna go full speed right from the beginning. Come on. Come on. Oh yeah. Oh. I feel uh, resistance. I feel like with the water, it was already coming out. I smell plastic burning. Do you smell plastic burning? I do. <laughs> I think something broke. I, yep, I think something broke in there. It's definitely not coming out. Oh man, my dreams of abusing this pump for resin have hey, been shattered. We still got to abuse the pump. Yeah. <laughs> so what would you rate this? For water, it works. Is it the best pump in the world? No, but for $10, I'd give it a three or a four. I'm okay with that. Yeah. You're three and a half. Three and a half. All right, for resin? The, uh, one. <laughs> <laughs> this is Caitlin. Caitlin hasn't eaten anything since breakfast. Oh look, she's getting hungry. Oh no, is it 6 p.m. already? She's been really busy with stuff. And now she has to cook and clean, but she has no ener- are, are you ordering again? No, 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 stop that. But it's so easy to overspend on mediocre food when you're hungry and tired. Try this instead. It's a tasty and easy meal from today's sponsor, Factor. Factor is now owned by HelloFresh, who we also love, and now we get even more variety of meals to choose from. We cook a lot, but for those evenings where we're just like, no. 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 Factor is the perfect option. Skip the meal planning, shopping, and prepping, and get Factor's fresh, never frozen meals delivered to your door. They're ready in just a few minutes, so all you have to do is heat and enjoy. Factor isn't just for dinners though. You can add quick breakfast, snacks, or even smoothies. Simply choose from their menu and enjoy fresh, flavor-packed meals delivered to your door. Go to factor75.com or click the link below and use code Evan and Caitlin50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. That's factor75.com and code Evan and Caitlin50 to get 50% off. So this next item has the most reviews of anything we're gonna look at today. Okay. 108 reviews. Popular. And a 2.6 rating. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why so many people keep on buying it and it might require us to take a trip outside. Weed remover, the bane of garden weeds. <laughs> Overall, everyone said it's so cheap. It's very short, it's poorly made. I don't know what it's good, W. They didn't finish their sentence. They didn't think it was worth oh. finishing. I don't know what is good. So this is just some, some product shots of it. That's fine. With a little flowers and weeds. <laughs> Why don't you just go outside and take a picture of it grabbing? It's a shaving off the plastic. <laughs> she can do it, baby. All right, let me try. <laughs> It's shaving it off. 
This is just so you can wear it like a keychain. <laughs> Watch out, weeds. <laughs> I got too vigorous with my hip swinging. It says insert the straw edge. Is it a, like a translation error? Easy, fast, clean hand. Easy, fast, and clean hand. Oh, just, just, just try it out, try it out. Okay, here's a weed right here, here's my target. Yep. I'm just gonna try to like, get this, the claws on either side of the stem and like push it down. It's going into the dirt. I picked up some dirt, I missed, I missed the weed. You can see I dug around it. Let me just try on the stick where we can see it a bit better. And then wouldn't I need to push it up to lock it? Because if I- Oh, maybe, maybe like lever it backwards. Oh, like this? Yeah, like that. Yeah, there oh, you go. Oh, okay, now we got a technique. <laughs> okay, let's do it on a weed. <laughs> I hey, just, you got some of it. I just <laughs> ripped off some leaves. Come here, weed. I'm gripping you by the stem. I don't like this thing. Easy, fast, clean hand. Grab, and then you twist. What'd you get? I got it all. Look at this. Did, did I? No, this is this is the part you're supposed to get. Oh no, oh no. This is what's, now it's just harder to pull out. I just got the leaves. <laughs> I just stripped the leaves off. Should we try another another weed? Maybe these are just really strong. Do you want to rate it? Zero. 